Hello everyone, Neil the Merge Informer here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the PopSocket resize script that our good friend Greg has created. It's going to be a little technical to install, but once you have everything up and running, it's going to go really quickly through your designs and resize them all to the correct dimensions and 300 dpi so that you can upload them to Merge by Amazon. If you see my screen here, this is the file popsocketscript.zip that you are going to be using and you can get that in the article below. So what the first thing you want to do is right click this, 7-zip, and extract it. Now I will bring over the file right here that it extracted. And if you open it up, you will see there's a file within a file. All you want to do is drag it to the desktop. It's going to say, hey, do you want to replace this? Just say yes. And all of a sudden you will see these files here. Now in order to run these files, you need to make sure you download node.js, that is the first step. Now what that's going to do is it's basically going to be able to run the script that's going to go and resize all of your files. So make sure you do that when you're following the article, but I already have that installed. And we have this uh, on our desktop here and we have a folder with test designs. So now we have that open, we'll close that. You want to open the command prompt. So if you go to Windows and you go down to your start menu, just type in CMD, hit enter, and it will open up this little black window here. Now from here, the first thing you want to do is type in CD, hit space on your keyboard, and then you want to drag the folder that you just unzipped right here, right into the window. Drag it, drop it, and you'll see it looks like that, and just hit enter. What that's going to do is it's simply going to select the folder that you want to work in. Now that that folder is selected, all you need to type in is npm space i, and hit enter, and as you see, right now it is installing node.js into this folder so that you will be able to actually use it. Give it a minute here, and as you can see, it did complete in about 11-12 seconds. Might take longer for your system, it might take a little bit less, just depends on what kind of computer you're working with. Now once that that is installed, you are actually ready to get your pop sockets, and, excuse me, your images resized into pop sockets. So we'll just open this up here, and you're going to want to type in the following, node space popsockets.js space dash dash dir equals quotation mark. Then you want to drag in the folder with all of your designs in it. Now this folder is going to be different for everyone else. I called mine test designs and as you can see there's a few designs in here that you can't currently use on Merch but I'm just using them at, for example purposes. Drag it into the window, drop it, and then you want to end quotation mark there space, now you want to hit dash dash bg equals, again, quotation mark, and now you can just enter in a hex color here. Now what a hex color is, is it's simply going to be a color code. Now I don't really have a color code off the top of my head, so give me one second while I look that up. All right, so I've opened up a color code picker here, and let's say that I want my background on every single pop socket to be green. Now, for most of you, this is probably going to be black. It'll be probably hex code 0000. But for example purposes, let's just say we want it to be green. Did you see my screen here? This is the hex code you're looking for. Now, over here in our command prompt window, you just need to type in 14B330, and then finish that out with an end exclamation or an end quotation mark rather. And now that you've got all this big line typed out, all you need to do is hit enter. And this is going to go through, it's going to process the files you have in the folder. And as you see, it's going to rip through these, resize them into pop sockets, and it should be done. Now in order to check if it's done, simply go to the folder that you had unzipped previously. Remember this folder? Click on pop sockets, and right here, you can see that each file has been resized. They have the background of green that we selected. And if you go to properties, details, they are 485 by 485 pixels. 
So they are the perfect dimensions. You can go ahead and upload these to pop sockets. And if you have thousands of these things, you can rip through them all, the entire folder, in maybe an hour, maybe two. It really depends on what kind of computer you're working with. But once you get this set up, it's super easy to use. And if you guys have any questions, make sure to, you can stop the video at any time. Make sure you're typing in the right things and follow the article. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.